there's an uprising in the apiary. The factories on down are at a standstill. Beauty is complete havoc. The revolutionary forces have stood heavy losses, but everything could still change. The remaining able-bodied survivors have taken up arms and gather on top to launch the last offensive. Your many years working in a revolutionary cell have turned you into a natural leader. The crowd behind you is awaiting instructions. I march on the council. Some of the revolutionaries in your group have taken issue with your decision. They wanted to put an end to the matchmaker's dictatorship, but they cannot imagine a society without the council. Ugh, Borons! They're wanting to split up. They head for the matchmaker. I forbid them. We need to present a united front if we intend to achieve anything. They hesitate for a moment, but they don't want to risk an internal conflict. So they choose to follow you, but cautiously. The revolutionary mass is very menacing, but internal tensions are still palpable. You finally arrive in front of the Council's palace, but as you start ramming into the doors, they open on their own, unleashing an army of Hornet drones who are hiding inside. Blute! The Hornets charge. They neutralize your first line within a few seconds. Some of them are moving swiftly towards your flanks. They're trying to surround you. Uh, I order a retreat. You shout your order, but your voice is drowned out by other shouts. Other self-proclaimed leaders seem to want to take the lead. Integrating the seceded group seems to have heightened the divisions. No one is paying attention to you any longer, nor are they paying attention to anyone else. The Hornets take advantage of the chaos to zoom through your ranks, neutralizing anyone within reach. You feel the end coming. The revolution has been stifled! Suddenly, right under your feet, a trap door opens. You see K signaling for you to come down. I follow him. You go down the ladder. The underground tunnels lead you to a secret spatial port where the nest is awaiting you. Ready to take off in case things take a turn. And take a turn they do. Kay takes your hand to lead you in. I kiss him. After being routed by the hornets, the touch of his lips feels very comforting. Kay lays his hands below your hips and brings you toward him. I grab his butt. You slip your hands in the back of his pants and dig your nails into the flesh of his buttocks. Oh, you feel them tightening with surprise. Kay puts his hand behind your neck, and a shiver goes through your body. You can no longer hear the commotion outside. Your spirit is captured by the taste of his saliva, the smell of his sweat. I let him have his way. Kay's lips slide along your cheek. His hand slides along your spine. You can feel his penis rubbing on your stomach. And as K sinks his teeth into your neck. Okay, stop. Stop talking. Show me. Improve what, exactly?
What are you looking for? My necklace, you know, with the metal. Well, where's the last place you saw it? Really? All right, all right. I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, help me look for it. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, you know we'll find your medal eventually. The nest isn't that big. What if I lost it outside? Uh, yes. That would be a problem. Worst case scenario, we can make another one. Which do you want? Medal for best cook? For distinguished service under the sheets? You don't understand. I've always had that medal. Since I was a baby. This is the last memory I have of my parents. Okay. In that case... Uh, and you never take off your medal? No. Except when I shower, I guess. The string doesn't do well in water. So? Did you check out the shower area? Huh. Got it! You're the best, you! It's not like there was a lot of competition. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. Oh, you like scratching for Mama, you, don't you? He prefers Papa K's. Tell her, Rank. Tell her you prefer Papa K's. Good thing no one is seeing us right now. Is this it? Apple's fast. Can't get enough of this. Pick 
taken up. Why stop here? Are you sure you know where you're going? You can trust me. What? What is it? I know this greenhouse. You mean you've been here before? What? No, of course not. I know this model. It's an HPX2. I worked on derivatives of this model while at Exnova. And is it a good one? It's an old one. But I would love to know how it's held up so well all this time. I got a big one. I thought it smelled good around here. Shh. It's gonna be alright. We almost missed this one. Good thing we don't have to scrub. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. Still following? Yes. Why do you ask? I just don't want you to get lost. In your dreams. with a flow burst. I can't see anyone behind us. What are we gonna do with all this rust? I'm sure we'll figure it out. Dizzy with all these U-turns? Yeah, but I like it. Now I'm hungry. I know, right? Yum.
know, we don't have to clean up the whole island. We don't have to do anything. That's the best part. Let me know when you want to lead, all right? Sure will. Girl, this one's ready. I got this. How? You got this? You bet I do. He's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. He's getting worn out. I don't even think he felt that. Shielding. Perfect. Loot. Careful. Did I miss? Don't think so. What's up? Getting tired? Bam! This one's tough. Maybe try something else. I got your back. Sweet. He's getting worn out. See you around. The end. Let's chill. Hey, it feels really nice in here. That's the point. Although it's not supposed to be flooded. On the other hand, the water temperature is perfect. It almost feels like we should go for a swim. Or something else. We could make that happen. Uh, Kay? I think someone's watching. What? Quick, step back! Hey! Don't take it so personally. How could we have known someone was already there? Cover me! What are these disgusting things on your back? Eggs, pimples... Could be both. I'll keep them at bay. You? Yep! Saw that! Great. Oh. You. Ready when you are. Ready! Oh, come on! Eat it! I got this! Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey! That's cheating! Let's get it over with! And done! Target locked! We may need to change our strategy. One left. Ah! There it is! At last! Aha! On your mark? Go, go, go! Ah. Ugh. Good thing I kept my mouth closed. Ugh. I'm dripping with slime! That's not slime. I bet you those are gastric juices. Well, that's just great. Already standing up? We need to be quicker. Watch out! Uh. Are you okay? You're safe. Nice. <sighs> Aha! He's getting worked up. Shield up! Awesome! Now what? Uh. Oh, Blute! He's ripe for the picking! Harvest time! No need to hammer it in. Let's just... Uh, another miss! Those are impressive regeneration skills. You block, I'll... Uh. Ready? Now! Eat it! Careful! You 
Go, girl! Your turn. Got this. Now shoot. That's how we rock. So, anyway, still want to take a dip? Now that I'm aware this thing might have laid its eggs in here, no thank you. Didn't you want to take a closer look at the greenhouse? I did. So, you used to build stuff like this? No, I was more on the research side. But my work contributed to the improvement of stuff like this, yes. For instance? I don't think you'd understand. Uh, you were speaking to someone who could disassemble a flow engine before she had her first period. <sighs> That's not quite the same, but okay. For example, I was working on a graviton methionine nanosynthesizer project. <sighs> well, of course, if you put it like that. Think of it as a fertilizer powered by gravitational force. Much better. That, I understand. Anyway, did you find anything interesting? As you might guess, there isn't much left that's functional. And not a lot of info as to how Exanova was involved. But, I think I found everything I needed to fix up the Nest's nano greenhouse. Ah, awesome! Now we'll be able to grow something other than apple dews. Or cultivate rare flowers? Why? Are you still interested in studying the plant's reproductive system or something? No. Mostly because they're pretty. Oh. Okay. If they're pretty, that works for me. And if they don't, stink. Please, no more stinky flowers like the ones you brought me last time. Promise. You're bugging out. You have to make a choice. Did you see this collection, though? Whoever was in charge of this greenhouse knew what they were doing. We can't take everything. I know. It's just too hard to decide. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Da, 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 da. To pick the very best one, and that is why you you are it. The fire fluke? Excellent choice. A drone parking platform. I was wondering why we hadn't seen one yet. It doesn't look in too bad a shape. Yeah. It must have fallen to the ground when its gyro stabilizer ran out of flow. Uh... Weren't you just looking for one of those? A gyro stabilizer? <laughs> I was. But I need a gyro stabilizer designed for flight, not a ground-based gyro stabilizer. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, first of all, the flight gyros cost three times as much. And secondly, um... Ugh, Plute! I think I've been getting scammed my whole life! Ooh. At least this one is free. So, are we bringing it home? We're bringing it home.
It shouldn't be much longer. Whew! Finished! Did you hear that? What? I don't hear it. Exactly. If we were on top, were truth, we'd be overrun with mosquitoes at this point. Even worse if we were on beauty. But right now, not one buzzing insect. Not a single sting. Nothing. That is one thing from the apiary I will not miss. Is there anything from the apiary that you are gonna miss? Hmm... No. All right, I am well aware that it's a bit early to make declarations, and that nostalgia tends to take one by surprise. But no, I brought with me what I held dearest in the apiary, so... Brought? I'm pretty sure I came of my own volition. Uh... What? Nothing. No, you were making a funny face. What funny face? Hold on. You were talking about the nest, weren't you? Yes. But you're the most important person to me, for sure. I just don't count you as one of my... things. That is... unless you'd like that. No, no. All done. The greenhouse is open for business. I've already planted a couple of things. We can add more as we find them. As long as we don't plant any apple dews. I don't think we'd be able to anyway. Fruits need a lot more space than this. But we can definitely try with pretty much any medicinal plant. Welcome to your new home, my little plant. I hope you will be able to prosper and live in good health, because your health is our wealth. How big do you think this planet is? I couldn't tell you for sure. I would say that it's smaller than Truth or Charm. Like, could we maybe go all the way around it? Dunno. We would need to measure its circumference. Maybe with a gnomon. A what? A gnomon. A stick, basically. Okay, then just say stick. And how would you measure the circumference with a stick? It... No idea. I know that we could do it. But it's actually a pretty tedious process. I guess we'd be better off exploring Source by ourselves. Game on. Huh? What are you doing up so late? I had an idea. I wasn't able to go back to sleep, so I went ahead and tested it. Want to hear about it? Uh, yeah, okay, but real quickly, because the only reason I'm awake is that I have to pee. All right, so we figured out that rust was not a mineral matter, nor was it organic matter. So what else is left? Antimatter? <laughs> Correct. I didn't even think of that. But no, if it were antimatter, we wouldn't be standing here talking about it. So considering that rust is neither mineral nor organic, nor is it antimatter, it could be flow. Cool. But you could have just asked me. You can tell it's not flow because flow is blue and all flowy. 
This is red and all hard. I'll have you know that I just completed the test, and the rust molecules are precisely the same as those in flow. They're just organized differently. Kind of like water and ice, if you will, just not the same. That's why flow, in the form as we know it, has such a strong effect on the rust. The molecules are binding, unbinding, and... Yes, sorry to interrupt, but are you almost done? Uh, I guess that depends on how detailed an explanation you need. The least. Then I'm done. Okay, thanks. Gotta pee!